to AKS Beef Fishing. Uh, apologies for the, the little break there without any content. We've been a bit busy, but we're back at uh, Great Beach today and it's a tad windy. So apologies for any like audio buffering or anything. But uh, we're going to chuck in a few crab nets and a uh, line just to settle up. So stay tuned. So guys, in front of the nets, we're using whiting heads that I found in my fridge. They've been in there for like about a year, so they're pretty old. So hopefully they still work. And then the other two nets, we're using pilchards. All right guys, so this is our first crab. It's only a little one, but it's a blue crab. It's a male. Um, so we'll put this on back. Yeah, I'll just shake it. That's good signs. That was our third pull, so that's good. This, um, I, I felt it being heavy. Then we saw a massive white patch. I thought it was like a shark or a stingray. <laughs> then there's four crabs, so we'll, we'll take a measure. Two of these are definitely too small, and we'll let you know what they're like. Are you recording? Yeah. All right, so we'll take a measure of the female. That's too small. Then we'll measure the male. It only has one claw. See, it fits in, doesn't fall down the gap, it just sits on top. So that one's big enough. You measure it with the 11 centimeter blue crab side, not the sand crab. So that, that one's the bluey, it's the bigger one. So this one's big enough, so that's one keeper for the day. Our second crab of the day, it's probably like 40 minutes after the first crab, maybe longer. Um, a lot of small ones, but this is the first sand crab that we have. and I accidentally got it on me. So now I smell like garbage. <laughs> and uh, I think we pulled up a little spider crab. We're, we're almost like 100% sure. We're not exactly sure, but we're pretty sure this is a baby spider crab because they are green when they're little, then they turn big. So that's interesting. Uh, cool find. We're, we're on six legal ones, legal crabs, one sandy and five blueies. Uh, so we're gonna chuck this one back, of course, before it dies, hopefully. But here it goes. I'm a bit scared of it, but. <laughs> do me to do it. <laughs> Guys, I've never handled a spider crab before. All right, there it is. It's... Guys, uh, SB here. So we just pulled up another net with the uh, whiting heads, and we've got a female blue crab again, and. Uh, I'll measure him up, or measure her up, so, yep, as you can see, it's big enough, and with this one, uh, it's pretty interesting, because as we're pulling him up, uh, she's dropped her claw, and what they do is, if they feel threatened, or like scared, or like anything, they, just their claws fall off, and the claws still have nerves in them, once they fall off, so the claw was literally like, attached to the net still, and uh, yeah, but we still managed to get him up. And yeah, they, so they drop their claws like to escape uh, danger or anything. And that's, you know, what this one tried to do. But obviously it was stuck in the net, so we still got it. So that's uh, four, four legal crabs today. So guys, um, this is our sixth crab. I think it's big enough. Sonny Atu has the measurer and he's gone back to his house to grab my portable charger because I need a charger. 
so I'll just borrow another person's crab measurer and I'll let you guys know if it's big enough. Welcome back guys, uh, so it's been maybe 40 minutes since our last uh, like legal crab I think and um, yeah we haven't gotten any so we, we pulled them up twice since so it's slowed down a bit and it's because they are the tide's changing so what we've done is we've moved the uh, the depths to the other side so hopefully that speeds it up but you know stay tuned and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Alright so uh, it's been maybe another 15 minutes since our last little update and we pulled up our uh, pilchard net and uh, after a long while of no keepers we've got this pretty pretty impressive uh, female blue crab and so we're, we're pretty stoked about that you know can't complain so I think that's seven keepers for the day which is you know not bad more than we're expecting to get so yeah stay tuned so guys today we're crabbing with Luke who's our special guest today first AKSB fishing video how do you feel Great, exuberant to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I just measured this crab and it is big enough so this is our sink. So we're going with the other. That's number six now. Hopefully we can get a few more. Alright guys, so this is our last net. Um let's let's go. This is the pilchard net, it's pretty heavy. Let's see. Let's see if any colour. Uh I see two crabs, I think. Oh one nice one. And I I only saw one crab. So there was only one crab in there. I thought I saw two, but the other one was seaweed. But this is a big female. Very nice size female. Like biggest of the day, I'd say. Um, Luke, would you like to come over here and grab the crab? Yes. <laughs> See guys, when this happens, you need to make them let go like that. And then shake them out. So here's Luke with the crab. So this is a nice female, and that was our last pull. So we'll be with you the outro in about 10 seconds or right now. Thanks for watching. So that's it for the video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, we're down here for maybe four hours, and we ended up with eight legal crabs. So that's not bad considering it's pretty early in the season. Um, over to you, okay? Yeah, I'm. I'm happy with how the day went. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Um, Sorry for not uploading very often, but the fishing has been slow. But now that it's summer, hopefully we can get back to uploading weekly. I'm not sure about now, but definitely in summer we should be able to. Um, it's a lovely day. It turned into a lovely day. It was a bit windy at the start, but overall pretty good. Please like the video, share this video around, and please subscribe to the channel. See ya.